Hey Fly Crew, today is day one of two and I'm currently in Atlanta. I'll be right back. We are starting our journey at home where I prepared some rice, ground turkey, peppers and onions. Now let's pack my lunch bag. Alright Black Crew, I go from Atlanta to Houston, Houston to Phoenix, and then Phoenix to Tulsa, Oklahoma, where I have about a 12 and a half hour overnight. Yes, it's a short overnight, but I did pick this trip up because it is a high paying two days, so I'm willing to sacrifice the short overnight. I just want to check in with you all. I had quite a journey kind of getting to the airport. I had to park in a new location and all of these other things, but I'll chat about all of that later. I'll catch you guys when we get to Houston. to Houston. We do have a little bit of time before we start boarding and I think I need to go off and get me some chapstick because my lips are so dry right now. We got new pilots. Our first officer, this is his very first flight and his very first trip with the airline. <laughs> so it's so funny because the captain came back here and told us he was like, go give him a hard time because I got this landing, but he's going to have the next one. So that's what I'm about to do right now. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. I'm Charles, by the way. Courtney. Courtney, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. made it here to Phoenix. We actually landed a little early. I don't know what time we board, so I'm just gonna go up and see if it's going. We're gonna board in two minutes, two hour flight to Tulsa, and I'll catch you guys in Tulsa. <laughs> All right, fly crew, I made it to my room here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I have to turn that TV off because it's making like a weird staticky noise. That's definitely not gonna work for me. So I'm going to turn that television off. Yo, I know my bag is making a lot of noise, but I can't set my backpack down yet. Like I'm actually wearing it. I never wear my bag like this, but you see I have like stuff sticking out of the back and it's just, I'll tell y'all about it tomorrow if I can remember. <laughs> Here's the shower. And then right outside of the bathroom, we have this vanity area right here. Before we start, don't talk about my lips. And my lips have been like extremely dry lately. And I keep forgetting to do an at home lip mask. So I've just been having like issues. So you can tell like I'm having like darkness like right here and at the top. And then on top of that, I forgot my chapstick. Like, so I had to put my lip gloss on and I'm just 
shimmering around here, but I'm gonna handle that tomorrow about my day. I had a good day today, three flights. I'm on a two day trip, like I mentioned earlier, and our D flight attendant, you know, they have their own separate schedule and you know, you usually don't keep the same D flight attendant for your trip. We keep the same four flight attendants for today, all day today and all day tomorrow. As of right now, it is currently, did my watch die? Oh my God, hold on. It is currently 11.56 p.m. My van time in the morning is at 11.30. I think I mentioned earlier that I have a short overnight tonight, but this is a high paying two day or a higher paying two day than typical. So I sacrifice having a shorter overnight so I can make more money. It's just, it is what it is. We have a very tall fridge in my room. You know, I love that as well. But remember y'all, you might have to pull the fridge out to check to make sure that it's turned all the way up because this fridge is very warm right now. It's very warm, so I had to turn it up. So I didn't turn it up to the max. You can see that it's frosting up here a little bit. Can you see that? That's a little bit better. You can see it's frosting up there, but I just need to make sure that my gel packs freeze. And I didn't turn it up to the max. I just turned it up a little bit because I don't want my stuff to like freeze. Cause I only have one meal left because this is a two day trip. I wanna eat two meals tonight. Yes, I'm greedy. And then just like some random snacks, an energy drink, and you know, a little bit of breakfast. I need my sweet stuff. And yes, so I just wanted to tell y'all that earlier. So the place where I used to park in Atlanta, they went up on their prices. And then there's no more employee parking left in Atlanta. But the place where I usually park went up almost double on their parking. So I'm just trying to figure out like what I'm gonna do about parking because I'm already a little perturbed that I have to pay for parking because I just don't understand why you gotta pay to go to work. I would never understand that, but you know, that's neither here nor there. While I was driving to the airport today, I figured I'm just gonna park over here because I'm basically gonna pay the same price and I'm gonna be a little bit closer to the airport. So that was the whole parking thing I said I was gonna explain to you all later. Like I said, it's almost midnight. I need to go ahead and get settled in the room. I'm gonna go ahead and put my food in the hot logic so I can eat and then go to sleep. And I'll chat with y'all tomorrow. Okay, fly crew, I'm back. I have several things to tell y'all. I was rushing off the camera earlier and I have things to tell y'all. So thing number one, a passenger gave the whole crew a Starbucks gift card. You know, I love that. Thank you to them. Also, this hotel gives us a snack or a dinner, whatever you want to call it. But this is a turkey sandwich on croissant. It has lettuce, tomato, and some cheese. I'll take the cheese off. I actually need to do that now so it doesn't like merge with the bread. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying, but I got to take the cheese off. And they give us some Miss Vicky chips. I love these chips and I love salt and vinegar. So that's one thing I like about this hotel because if you work a PM, they will give you a snack. I'm probably just going to eat this on the plane tomorrow because my two meals are in here warming up and I'll just eat this on the airplane tomorrow. Dossier was founded out of the desire to make premium fragrances accessible to everyone. Dossier's candles are back and they're bigger than ever. They have two wicks, they're 17.5 ounces in size, and they have 70 hours of pure burning luxury time. They have four different fragrances, Aromatic Star Anise, Floral Rose, Amber Vanilla, and Floral Marshmallow. The two fragrances I have are Aromatic Star Anise and Amber Vanilla. Amber Vanilla is inspired by YSL's Black Opium Perfume, an aromatic star anise is inspired by Dior's Sauvage. Once you open your candle, it's going to enclose a card that's going to tell you exactly what your fragrance is, what it's inspired by, and all of the top notes. It's also going to tell you exactly how to burn your candle. You want to make sure that you trim your wick about one fourth of an inch. You also want to make sure that you burn it for at least two to three hours on your first burn and make sure the wax melts across the surface of the glass. Make sure you keep it stored safe so you can make sure you can enjoy your 70 hours of burn time. I love Dossier's fragrances and I'm especially happy that they brought the candles back with an even larger size. 
make sure you check the link in my description so you can get a discount on your dossier candles or your dossier scents good morning fly crew today is day two of two and i'm currently in tulsa today i have three flights i go from tulsa to denver denver to san antonio san antonio texas and then san antonio to atlanta and i should be done around 9 30 p.m I think that's right. I just wanted to check in with you all. It's currently 11.21 a.m. So I have nine minutes before I have to be downstairs to catch the van. And I'll catch you guys when I get to the airport. One more scan of the room. Although I wasn't here too long, but you know, still got to do a scan. Put this in the trash. Oh, and then that in recycle. So we're on the Boeing 737 MAX 8 aircraft. I had to make sure that was the correct plane because we have the new bins on our aircraft. A lot of our newer airplanes are getting the new bins where you turn your bag on the side. So that's really convenient. One thing I have noted just from flying on other carriers that sometimes some of our crew bags don't fit that way. So if you have a larger bag, it might not fit. We're having a situation with our seat flight attendant. With that being said, this is my seat. Hi. Life of a sassy stew. <laughs> Go on over to her TikTok and her Instagram. Make sure you follow her. I'm gonna put the information on the bottom. You're gonna see some really cool dance moves and she's just so funny and silly. I've been cracking up this whole trip. All right, so to talk about the new Max with the new bins, basically everything else is the same on the aircraft, just overhead bins. They're wider, they're better as far as being able to turn bags on the side. So you can fit more bags on the overhead bin. The one negative to it is that the bins hang lower. So if you're a taller person, it's gonna cost a little bit of issues because you're going to be like punching down so just be careful with that with your head i am not a taller person i am 5'3 i typically wear about two inch heels to work so that makes me 5'5 five five. so let me show you really quickly all right so this is the band and then this is my head so in order for me to be in my boarding position i have to do this so what a lot of flight attendants do is just typically close the bin while we stand there and do whatever we need to do and then if someone wants to sit like in the area in the row we'll just step out open the bin so they'll put their bag in and then when they get done we'll close it and everything is good all right so i know it look a little bit more clear now you know the max has this sexy lighting and that's what i like to call it but i do like it because it's like more soothing so i do like that not as harsh on the eyes but i'm about to go ahead and get settled in the airplane that sounds so weird to say that but i'm about to go ahead and you know get settled i did my pre-flight checks um we actually are still waiting on a waste dump. That's one of my responsibilities as B. I just want to check in with you guys. We're going to start boarding in, oh, now. So I'll catch you guys when we get to Denver. We made it here to Denver. Um, we had a little bit of ground time, so I was just chatting with the crew. Today, we've been having, we only had one flight, but our last flight had a pretty good amount of kids. This flight has about 20 children. The reason why I'm saying that is because a lot of crumbs. It's always like very crummy on these flights. So if you all don't know, we have this thing called a hokey and it's kind of like a, a sweeper. I don't know. I've talked about it on my channel before, but it's, it's been a while. I'm sure we're gonna need it. <laughs> we're about to start boarding in like two minutes. And we have a lady captain. 11 we have lady pilots i just want to check in we're headed to san antonio this flight is going to be full we're probably going to have some extra flight attendants riding on the jump seat with us because they say their flight is very full so they're going to ride on the additional jump seat and i catch you guys when we get to san antonio We made it here to San Antonio. We have a little bit of ground time, not much, and then we're gonna start boarding. I went up top to get some forks because I forgot that I didn't have a fork. And it's currently 6.35 in Atlanta, and I should land at like nine o'clock in Atlanta. We'll see, but i catch you guys later. And one more thing, our lady pilot, our captain came and helped us tie to the cabin. I love that. I just want to shout her out. All 
Butterfly Fly Crew. I am headed to my vehicle. It's so funny that if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I ended up getting a breathalyzer in Denver and this is my second random urine test in Atlanta. <laughs> and I'm not even based here. So that just lets you know, it doesn't matter where you work a trip, where you pick up, wherever it is, it's random. Whenever your name comes up, it's your turn. The current time is 10.03 p.m. And I actually didn't even take that long. It was a pretty quick process. So I'm headed home. 